Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a 2D platformer in Unity. In this video series, we're going to construct a game very similar to the one I built here in Unity of Super Mario Brothers. This video series is designed for complete beginners. So if you don't know anything about game design coding or Unity in general, by the end of the series, you're going to have all the tools you need to create a video game similar to this. The only difference being is that due to copyright issues, I can't distribute this art. So throughout the series, I'll be providing art for you that can be used for developing a game like this. It will be working in a similar manner to all the art you see here. Let's get started. So let's start off by downloading Unity. So if you just type into your browser, download Unity, you'll come to this site. Click on it, and then you'll have two options here. Now in the first option, you'll pre excuse me, be presented with different options for the different types of Unity download. You'll have the paid versions of Plus and Pro, and you can read through if this is something you're interested in. But if you're just getting started, I would recommend the personal one, which is free for you to use. And it's good for revenue or funding less than $100,000 in the last 12 months. So if you have a game and it makes money, if you're below this amount, you won't be charged anything. And of course, there's the student version here that's also free. Going back to this main page we came from, we will see that we also have Download Unity Hub. This is kind of what you want to download. And then after you click this button, simply follow the prompts to complete the download. When the download has been completed, the Unity Hub will be opened. And you'll have a section here for your projects, an area for you to learn and get various templates, a section for you to interact with the Unity community if you have any questions or maybe even answers for others. And down here is where you're going to have your installs. Yours is probably empty right now. And you have to add which Unity you want. By that, you would go to over here to add. Now you'll see different Unity versions here. Here I had the most recent recommended release, but there are other releases and also an alpha here. When you're trying to download your Unity, you're going to be presented with these boxes right here. And it's going to ask you various questions about different types of modules you want to add to this. These are all the different builds that you can use in Unity, whether you want to do on an Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, WebGL, and so on and so forth. So you have to figure out which ones you want and then click here to download those options. Now bear in mind, the more you click, the more uh, storage space it's going to require as it says right here. So as you can see, I have a variety of different build supports here between Android, Linux, Apple, and Windows. So now let's go ahead and start our first project. So let's get things started by clicking new in our Unity Hub. Now here we're going to have a choice of options for our templates. We're going to click on 2D. Here we're going to have our project name. I'm going to call mine Super Fabio. You can name yours what you like. And over here we have a location, a place we want to put our project folder. I'm going to go here and go to my Unity Projects folder for this. I'm going to select that folder. And then I'm going to hit Create. And then Unity is going to start get started. So once the Unity Editor has opened, you'll be looking at a good handful of windows in front of you. We're not going to be talking about all of them today or even all the features of the ones we will be talking about, but we'll slowly uh, go over each of these pretty well. The first one to look at is over here. It's called the hierarchy window. And in the hierarchy window is where we put our game objects. And a game object is just that. It's an object you put into the game. Uh, it's artwork, triggers, colliders. It's an assortment of things. So the first game object of our project is already here. It's provided with us by default. It is called the main camera. I'm not going to go over this, but it's pretty much what you would think a camera does. It allows you to look at the scene and the scene itself is right here. In fact, there's a, there's a scene window and a game window and the scene window is where we're going to build our game. We're going to put our game objects in here and we're going to interact with things. And the game window is where we're going to sample play our game here. And now in the scene, in, excuse me, in the scene window, you can uh, move around in different ways. If I take the mouse wheel here and scroll it back and forth, I can move in and out. If I 
click on my right mouse, this little hand appears. And it grabs things and it twirls it away. And in my left mouse here, I can highlight things. I just highlighted the main camera right here. Next to the game window is the asset store. And this is where you can access Unity's online asset store. I don't think we'll be using this for this tutorial series, however. And here is our animator. We haven't put together an animator yet, but this is where we will be um, working with our different animation clips. Over here to the right is the inspector window. And normally in the inspector window is where we're gonna find uh, our game objects. Uh, or the components that make them up and each, that's what each of these little blocks here is. This is a transform component. This is a camera component. We have a bunch of uh, components that we can use such as a, a box collider which can be used to um, just basically as it says it's, it's something to, for the objects to collide with. Not all objects collide with each other. It also has an audio listener and this is this is uh, standard with the main camera, and this is where the the audio excuse me the audio will be listened to. But there's also an audio player for the audio listener to listen to. Uh, going down to the bottom here, we have three windows. We have our projects window, and this is normally where we keep our folders for our project. Here's our assets folder. We already have a folder in here called our first scene, our sample scene. That's up here. That's what we're in right now. A scene can basically, excuse me, basically be seen as a level. Here in the consoles where uh, information can be uh, printed, uh, we can um, write information for us to be printed in our debug log. Uh, errors will appear here and those such things. And here is our uh, animation clips window. We will put the animation clip here and then we will be able to set it up here and then place it in our animator. So now that we've had a brief tour of the Unity Editor, let's start setting up our project a little bit. Let's click here right on our Assets folder. And if we right click on our folder, we can go up here to Show and Explore. Now here in Explore, this is where I saved my project in my Unity projects. And right here you can see an Assets folder. So when you see the folders here, if I click on our Assets folder, there's a Scenes folder, which is right here. So all the folders that are going here are here in our project folder inside your desktop. As you can see, there's another one called packages and that's right there. And the packages are a bunch of uh, pre-rendered packages with different, um, different Unity components and other things such as the 2D animator. So you don't have to really code it from the ground up and the text mesh pro and other things we can access. We'll be using some things from the package, excuse me, the package manager plus dull, excuse me, again, downloading other things into it. So let's go back into our assets folder and let's create another folder. We're going to right click right on it. We're going to go up here. We're going to go to create and we're going to click on folder. And the very first folder we're going to create, we're simply going to call sprites. And the sprites are our basic artwork that we're going to be using. Uh, in the link below, there is a uh, link to a Google Drive folder, and that is where the art for this project is. You can get other art that you want to use if you so choose for this project also. And then before we do that, let's just go up here again. Let's go up to create. Let's make another folder, and we're going to write scripts on this one. And the scripts is what we're going to be coding in. Actually, uh, in addition to our objects that we're going to put in this game, we have to provide code for them and that's going to be done in the computer language C sharp. We'll be getting to coding uh, probably in the next video or two. So to get our first pieces of art, if you click the link, you'll be transported right to this uh, folder right here in a Google Drive. And to start off, we have two sprites that have been made that I made, the Super Fabio Idol sprite. This is what he uh, does when he's standing still and there's a simple little block for him to stand on that we'll be using. Just simply click and then shift and click again to highlight both of them and then right click and then hit download and then it'll download and mine should be just going into my downloads folder. So now I'm going to go back into the Unity editor. I'm going to bring up my folder here. Here's my downloads. Here's my download folder. Just going to hit extract all. Just going to extract them right into the folder. Here they are. And then I'm going to take my two uh, sprites here. I'm going to click on one. I'm going to control click on the other to highlight them, or you can shift click. 
and I'm going to just drag them right here into that folder just like that. You should see a little plus sign if you're going over it and it's uh, working properly. So now our two sprites are right here in our sprites folder. And if I click on the first one, which is our Super Fabio Idol, you'll see that there are in our in our inspector window uh, a bunch of drop down menus for us to use and we're probably not going to change this, but if it wasn't, we would want to say this is a Sprite 2D in the UI. Another thing is that sometimes, and we'll see this in the future, is that the Sprite mode can be single or multiple or polygon. Multiple meaning there's multiple Sprites on a sheet. But I'll just show you what the Sprite editor looks like also, because if it was single, I'm sorry, multiple, we'd want to break it up. So normally if, we, if there are multiple Sprites in here, we could hit slice and it would slice it up. But here you can see that by these green boxes, this is the outline of the sprite itself. And these gray checkered boxes behind it, it's a PNG file. These won't appear when the sprite is placed in the game. So we're just gonna click off that. And now here we have our pixels per unit and we're going to be uh, changing these or maybe we won't depending on uh, other needs to uh, fit our sprite to our project right now it the pixels are per unit is it has a hundred pixels per unit in the uh, game already and that's how it's a default setup whenever you open up a sprite even if I click on this one these will be the default settings to it and also right now we're not going to be changing any of the other uh, settings right now we're going to leave this as is so that's it for today as always thank you for watching like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. See you next time.